Hey y'all, my name is Turner. Uh, I'm over here at the warehouse over at work over at 281 internet. We do wireless internet. But that's not the topic of this video. Uh, I'm making this video today because I've been looking into how do these uh, torch lighters work. You know, little jet lighters, for cigars, weed, whatever the fuck you want, basically. Anyways, these things, they, uh, they're really neat and they use a little jet little jet flame it's a lot more accurate it burns at like 2500 degrees fahrenheit and or that might even be celsius i don't even remember uh it's hot it gets really hot compared to a standard soft flame uh nobody's ever explained how this shit actually works i've looked all over youtube and i found so many explanations that are just dead wrong people say it's because this is under pressure they say oh it's because it's pressurized that's why it makes a jet flame the thing is, you fill this with standard butane, the butane you buy at the store to fill up any lighter, whether you're filling up a standard clipper or you're filling up a big ass kitchen torch, doesn't matter what you're filling, you use the same butane, it's in a can, and although it is pressurized, it has to be under some amount of pressure for it to be a liquid. I don't know if y'all can see that in there, I got this thing topped off almost. But for it to stay liquid, it does have to be under some pressure, but it is not enough pressure for it to make this kind of jet flame. In, in a small lighter like this, it's not, it's not really enough and it they're roughly the same amount of pressure in one of these is in your clipper in your clipper lighter your bic lighter your bic lighter is the same thing it just has butane and it's isobutane and uh so i look into this and i have to go really dig deep on the internet and i have to go look at schematics for lighters i look i go into actual like lighter companies that have been building these for the last hundred years i look into their shit and i finally find the answer it all has to do with the nozzle up here that was bad timing. I don't know if it'll focus for y'all. I doubt it. I don't know if y'all can see this. Barely. But you see there's a little hole in the middle. And then there's a whole bunch of little holes all around the nozzle. So that middle hole right there. That little pinhole. That is what's known as an orifice. I know. An orifice. We all have them. Including jet lighters apparently. And uh. The way it works is that hole is where the butane is pushed through. So the butane is forced through a small hole, which already increases its propellant. It makes it more propellant, just forcing it through the small hole alone. Still not enough. Uh, so once the butane passes through the small hole, it is ignited by a piezoelectric ignition system. And the way that works is it makes an it, it makes an arc. It's not even a spark. People call it a spark, but it's more of an arc. It's an arc of electricity. It's created by this crystal. It gets hit with like a little mini hammer and it creates an electric charge or a static charge for like a split second and then they send that up a little cable and then what it does is it arcs from that little cable that little wire right there that's in that little u-shape it sparks right to the middle there where that uh that nozzle is that's why they make them out of brass or copper because it's very conductive and it'll arc to there every time so when it arcs to there the flame is ignited outside of the orifice the butane has already passed through that little hole it is ignited in this little space right here where you can see it's visible that's where the flame is actually ignited from so the ignition is not at the source of the butane it's past the orifice once the butane has already passed through it now this is where those little holes that go all around the outside come into play uh those are little vents i don't know what to call them they're essentially just holes vents they go through this through the nozzle and there's a space behind there that's open to the atmosphere uh that's why you got these little vents if you look real closely you see those vents on the tip those vents come up behind that orifice to where those uh even tinier vents on the actual nozzle itself are and whenever a flame burns it has to consume oxygen to continue burning everybody knows this flame needs oxygen yada 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 you can't start a fire in a vacuum uh anyways as the flame burns it is pulling in more oxygen from the surrounding environment from the atmosphere around it and it has to do that to continue to consume the fuel and burn uh so the way this is designed is that as the flame burns in this little space in this little pocket right here the air from the environment is pulled in through these vents on the side and then the air goes out those tiny little holes in the nozzle right there all those little holes that's where the air that comes in through these vents is expelled from and it gets sucked through with, jet, with so much force that when it comes through those little vent holes what does it do it propels the air outwards and that is what gives you your propelled jet flame right there it's not fucking pressure in the lighter i'm tired of hearing that shit if there was pressure in the lighter you couldn't just go to the store and buy a little mini canister of butane and fill it up you'd have to go get a machine that actually puts pressure into this thing 
And the other thing is, is that air pressure does build up in these over time and it's a problem. You have to release the pressure to fix it because when too much air pressure builds up inside the chamber, one, you can't fill it with as, with, with as much butane and two, it makes an improper mixture of butane to air ratio. Whenever it, it has to be at the right ratio of butane to air and oxygen for combustion to happen properly. So whenever you get those torch lighters where it just burns for half a second, burns for half a second, it's because there's air that's been trapped in here and there's air pressure building up and it's mixing too much air with the butane and it's not able to achieve proper combustion anyways i'm sorry for my rant it just i found like a science channel explaining this and they're like yep it's the butane is under pressure and because it's pressurized as it escapes it's it escapes the force and psst, basically you know i was just like bro shut the fuck up i knew that wasn't going to be the case so i decided to research it and yeah i'm not going to put any names or nothing i don't care about any of that i just wanted to put it out here thank y'all love you have a beautiful fucking day